Yo, I just ate some candy, bro. I'm feeling great. Let's get this review done. So there are like five septillion Christian Bible-based word games available for phone. There's literally so many. There's like no way I can review them all. I mean, dude, I can review like one Bible word puzzle game on the phone and have reviewed like half of them. <laughs> There's this one that I ran across the other day that seems slightly unique enough that it might just warrant a review. You know what? Which is what we're talking about now. It's called Phrase It Up. So we're going to talk about it. And you cannot stop me. So this is released by a company called uh, 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 yep. Meadows Web Technologies released in 2018. So basically this is a fill in the blank game. You have these different Bible phrases but they're all blank and you pick different letters from the English alphabet and once you pick a letter that is in that phrase it fills in the blank and you have to keep guessing letters until you get the whole phrase. So it's absolutely so much fun, you know? But th the catch is if you pick letters that aren't in the phrase more than two times Times, you lose. It's three strikes and you're out. Oh, I don't. To me, this game is not overwhelmingly fun. You know, I downloaded it not really expecting to have fun because it's it's a word game. You know, I'm like the guy who likes to get games where you get guns and shoot stuff. I mean, honestly, what do you expect from a word game? It's not like you're gonna be staying up all night until midnight to wait for the release. Yo, me and all these cool people have been waiting in line all night since midnight. Waiting in line for this cool new action-packed Bible word puzzle game. Bruh, you need to get a life. Yeah, I know I do. And it really wasn't, after playing it, like, ah, so much fun. But it actually wasn't bad. I actually kind of enjoyed it. This is a very casual game, so it's not like you're going to be binge playing this for, like, hours on end. You might play, like, five rounds and get bored. Like, I got bored of this game very quickly, but it is a good game for winding down and relaxing. Graphically, this game doesn't have a lot to show. The graphics are pretty rough. Um, a lot of them look like they could have been made in Microsoft Paint. They do get the point across. They're just not really anything super special. I have seen some Christian word-based games with some pretty good graphics, but unfortunately, this is not one of them. And along that note, this game is actually not really the most biblically educational game. Basically, all you're doing is just filling in the blanks for passages that are in Bible verses and those passages might help you learn scripture a little bit but they're not really gonna educate you a lot and I did find it really hard playing this game because I like to think that I know a lot about the Bible but it was hard for me to guess what the words were from the few letters that I had filled out in the blank so it is a pretty difficult game you will lose a lot especially since three strikes and you're out after you win a level you get to spin the wheel to win coins Bring me all the coins, baby. Yeah, coins, yes. Oops. Now I have to pick them all up. No. <laughs> So basically, you get to spend two times every time you win. You can either get coins or you can lose coins. And then on top of that, you have all these beautiful, wonderful mini games. The first one is called Crack the Treasure or something like that. I don't know. So basically, you have this treasure chest where you have to guess the combination, but it's, it's just like so easy. It's barely even a mini game because you literally just put like one in all the blanks and then you put two and then you put three until you get one of the numbers right and then you just get the other ones right. It's literally so easy. And then the second one, I just call it the Trade coins for stuff game which I don't even know how it's barely a game it'll just pop up and say hey you want to trade 500 coins and I'll be like yeah and it'll be like okay you just traded 500 coins for one coin that's a great trade right or I just traded 200 coins for a goat well what do I do with the goat I traded 200 coins for a goat inside of the game and it didn't give me a goat I wasn't able to do anything I feel cheated I literally had no goat inside of the game ah! I am a goat also inside of the game, you can use your coins to buy banners, which I really don't think they have any other purpose other than going to the banner menu and just staring at them. Yo, like you're just gonna sit there and just stare at the banners. Oh, these banners are so nice. Oh, oh, oh. Throughout the game, every 25 levels, you unlock a new stage, which don't really seem any different to me. Maybe they're a little bit harder. I don't know, I got bored and stopped playing at the second stage, so I didn't really know. But anyway, guys, this is your review from your boy, Joseph Farrell. Please hit that subscribe button so I don't have to die unhappy. You're probably the one person out of 7 billion people in the world that actually watched to the end of this video. That deserves a fist bump.